Alright, I'm going to be doing a review of the Global Industrial Push Sweeper. Usually I do tractor videos or nerf reviews, but this is something very different. This sweeper I bought at Global Industrial for $149, so $150. And there are other ones, there's a $200 one and there's like a $300 one. And there are, there are many brands, this one's made by Global Industrial. Um, I, I was looking at the Eureka Pico Bello, which I'll feature right here, and it's a it's a really cool sweeper that cost seven hundred seventy nine dollars something around that. I couldn't afford that, so I thought it would be interesting to see how good this thing is. And I found mostly pros, but some cons. Uh, let's take a look at it in the garage. So this sweeper is just powered by push. The right wheel drives a belt to this brush and also this brush here which goes up against curbs so if there's dust here it'll push it into the path and th this wheel drives the main brushes so when I turn you'll see those brushes turn there are actually two there's I don't know if you can see it but there's another one there and you see how they turn to pick up larger objects like a uh, you know water bottles I'll show you in a in a moment and this handle is, I love this handle, I, my, my Troy Built Lawn Mower has that handle, it's an ergonomic handle, and this thing has it too, which is great. And um, these are adjustments, this is number one, this is the highest setting for the brush, and same there, we go on the other side, this is number one there, and also for these side brushes, I have them on number one and number one, which is the highest they can go. So, for $149, this is a great sweeper for, you know, a garage like mine, which is slightly, it's big, but also it's a good industrial tool for if you have a, like a warehouse or something you want to keep clean every day. This is great for that. But if you want, if you want something, you know, if you have a bigger, I would, a bigger garage, I would recommend, you know, getting a better sweeper than that. So when you push the sweeper, I've noticed it's a little harder to push than I thought it would be. So it takes some might. And another um, con, the wheels are very small and slippery. So this would definitely not replace the lawn sweeper you'd sweep up leaves with. But it does well on this kind of, con this kind of pavement, which is... Um, it has a nice grip to it, so it's a little grippier than this. This is actually smoother than that. You can't really tell on the camera. But we're going to suck up all of those. We have a, we're starting out with an off can. Then we have some tape rolls and something else there, a PVC pipe. Some plant material, some plastic thing, gravel everywhere. Another piece of a plant. Um, a little tag from like a plant actually a pitcher plant um, and some cardboard so we're going to test that with this sweeper okay here we go let's test it out so you see we lost some paper there let's go over that was one pass oh and also we had three matches there I forgot to show that let's do one more pass Alright, that sucked up everything except that match right there. Let's see if we can get it. I think we got it. Okay, that took about two passes. Oh, and one last thing. That was lost. Oh well. So it took two passes and it cleared most of the debris. Let's take a look at it. Alright, let's see what the sweeper picked up. So, you can see we sucked up that chalk and that tape. There's the chalk. There's the off can, or the cutter, the mosquito spray can. There's the, the second pass picked up this piece of paper. Also this piece of plant, elephant ear, and this paper. It all picked it up well. The only things it didn't pick up was that at the two passes is... But that's okay. If you have a big warehouse, if it picks up most, most of the debris, that's all that really matters. From here, you can just throw all the trash in the dumpster. There's the gravel. 
We can also wash it. That's what I usually do, is wash the bin so it doesn't smell bad or anything. I actually got the sweeper last night. I actually, this garage was full of mess in, in the last video you saw. There are plants everywhere. It's a big mess, but we cleaned it up last night. And it was also full of sawdust from sawing bamboo, and it was really dirty. And I used the sweeper to clean it all up, but I didn't film it. But that bay where all my tractors sit need to be cleaned just like this. So let's go clean it. So you can see it's a mess here. There's gravel everywhere. There is paper. There's some leaves. Just a mess in here, and kind of hazardous too. If you're in, if you work, if you have a warehouse and all this mess, this could be ha hazardous to your employees or to yourself. You can slip on the gravel. So we're gonna take this push sweeper and clean it all up. That did a good job. Let's go one more pass. I've noticed the faster you go, the usual usually the more debris you will pick up. So and it does take a few passes. As I saw in the review, so, uh, in the in Global Industrial, someone actually said it does take a few passes to clean up just most, you know, everything. Caster, which doesn't do much. It's already getting gunked up from all the dirt, but I don't see it. It doesn't really do much, but it helps it glide around a bit. Okay, so that cleaned up a lot of it. There's still some debris here, and also when I went to the end, it basically raked up a lot of de debris over there, as you can see. Right over there. So we're going to get the broom and basically broom it out into the center of the, the garage and then we'll sweep that up. Okay, I've swept most of the debris that was over here a little closer so I can go over one more time with the sweeper. And also the debris that was over there. So I'm going to take it on over here. And there you go. Good, that got a lot of it. Let's go over one more time. Just get some leaves there. Let's see what we picked up. That's all the gravel. Look at that. Leaves, cardboard, twigs, vines, junk that you don't need on the floor. Let's go throw that out. Alright. I kind of wish there were a handle here so you could just hold it a little better, but it's alright. Okay. That's in the trash. All the mess. We cleaned up the garage. I can put my tractors back in, and thanks for watching. I've got some exciting news. I'm going to get a forklift. I'm serious. I'm going to get a forklift. I am so excited. We have a, my mom and my dad work somewhere, and they know someone that has a forklift, and they don't need it anymore. And I'm going to get to keep it. It's going to be awesome. So I'm getting all sorts of industrial things. I'm getting a, I got a sweeper. I'm getting a forklift. So that video will come up someday. I'm, I'm gonna get it in a matter of days. So thanks for watching. That's exciting. Another exciting thing is we might have tornadoes here. Look at the weather. Look at the trees. It's awful. We haven't had tornadoes here since like the 1920s or something. So that's kind of exciting. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, share it, comment, whatever questions you have, leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.